Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to cover some of our crochet hooks, whoops, sorry about that, with polymer clay. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be covering our crochet hooks, the handles with polymer clay to give it a bigger handle so that your hands don't get cramped up. Now I have done this once before and I went too high up on my handles, so live and learn. What I'm starting with is I stole a rolling pin from my kids. Um, Play-Doh. <laughs> so you may have to do that too. I have all these neat clay tools that uh, came with kits over the years. Okay. Um, you're going to need some wax paper, some masking tape. I bought two cubes of um, Fimo clay, the same as polymer clay. Um, and then I bought this kit off of Amazon and it's got all different kinds of colors, but it's not a large quantity of any of the colors, but it just gives us some variety. So we're going to start by covering our workspace with the wax paper so that we don't discolor our table. So let's get everything out of the way. Okay, so I use wax paper because it doesn't usually stick too bad to wax paper. I also, believe it or not, use wax paper for my cooking project sometimes. So I always keep wax paper in the house. So I'm just going to put it in the central location and then using my masking tape, with my long fancy nails, I'm gonna try and find an edge. Oh geez, what a hot mess. Okay, there we go. Did I get it all? There we go, okay. So let's get rid of that piece. So I'm just gonna tape, what? Who does that? <laughs> let's try that again, sorry. So first of all, you have to figure out how to work tape. Oh my goodness. Okay. So tape this down. So you can't really see because I'm out of frame, but I'm taping it down at one end. I'm taping it down at the other end. That way, like I said, we don't discolor things. And I'm just doing the sides too. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our surface covered. So now let's look at this kit I got. So I got this on Amazon. It's 36 colors and it comes with more tools. Okay, so I'm sure those will come in handy. And then, let's see what we got here. I don't know, we got these different things. I am not a clay worker, so I would have to watch a video to know what all those tools do. If anyone um, has any advice, uh, leave a note in the comments. So this is how big the little color segments are. They're not very big at all, but really when you roll out this, it, it adds up and then, there's another level. 
So isn't that fun? So today, oh, there we go. Today, I also got two bricks of extra colors. So I thought black and green are probably good colors to get extra of. So we're going to use those and maybe we'll go with yellow and blue. Sure. Those will be the colors for this crochet hook. So. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, here we go. That's what I'm doing wrong. So I'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to start by making what is called a cane. So I'm going to just have to hang on a sec. Hi. Okay, so for this crochet hook, we are going to use orange, green, and yellow. Oh, excuse my hands. I've been working with clay today. This is... <laughs> Um, uh, number five in my hooks, I think. So what you want to do is you always want to work your, your clay until it's nice and workable. Okay. So we're going to just roll it and squish it. And it's not exactly yellow, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to roll out the yellow. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I am not a professional at doing these handles. I just do it because it helps my hands. So on your crochet hook, you see how you have your writing and then you have the top and the bottom. We are only covering under the writing and you're saying why? And I'm saying this is my reason. When I'm crocheting, quite often I have to have a multiple of multiple loops on here. And I've done other crochet hooks where I've gone up far too far. Here's an example. I did this crochet hook and I went right up to the top. And when I'm doing any kind of stitches that require multiple loops, I swear and curse. So don't swear and curse. That's not nice. Do better. Do better than me. So we're going to go under the writing. So with the yellow... The yellow is going to be my main handle color. So I'm going to just go around the whole handle with the yellow. And I'm kind of, as I'm spiraling it on, I'm kind of pulling the yellow to make it so we can get to the end. I'm kind of stretching the yellow as I go. Okay. And we're going to get that all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And now we're just going to roll it because we don't want it spirally like that. At least I don't. And at the top, we want to make sure we're under the writing, but we also want to make sure we're tight to the top there. We don't want this cracking, right? So it's got to be tight to the top. And then we'll roll it out. So tight to the top, not going past the writing. Just roll it out. And we're getting out the, the spiral part of it. Okay. And we want, I want to cover that tip. I don't like it showing. Okay. And then I'm just making sure that's nice and tight at the top. Okay. Again, I'm going to, to make my handle even, I want to roll it out. And have it tight, but not past the writing, okay? Not past the writing. Okay. 
can roll it and you're kind of rolling it so that the clay is coming down towards the bottom. Okay. I can't stress how important it is to make sure that top is nice and tight to the, the metal. And of course, you can only do this with metal crochet hooks. You cannot do this with the plastic ones because when you cook it, it will deform the hook. Only metal hooks. I know, you're probably saying, why is she telling me this? Only an idiot would do the plastic hooks. But you know what? They also have to tell people not to put babies in microwaves. So I am doing everyone a kindness. Okay, so that's basically the basic handle. I'm going to put that aside. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my, I got a little bit of blue here. I'm going to give that some squishes. And you know what? I think maybe we need another color. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some blue. I'm going to roll it. And then I'm just going to make some balls with it. Okay. I do everything like by making balls. It's just, I don't know why. It's just how I do it. Okay. So, similar size balls. Okay. That one's a bit smaller than the other, so I'm going to add. Okay. Now, oops. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squish them. Squish the balls. Okay, and now I'm going to take a little bit of red. And I'm going to roll it up. And I'm going to make smaller balls than the last ones. Okay, smaller balls. Okay, and we're going to do five of them. I did five of the others, by the way. Come on, let go of me. Let go of me! Okay. Making sure they're smaller. Now, we are going to take those balls and put them towards one end of our bigger balls. And see what I did there? We're going to do that to all five. So we're going to kind of squish it on there, but spreading it out. And we're doing it towards one end. There we go. Okay. See how I pulled it back on that one? And then that one on there. Okay. Now we're going to pick that off of our working mat. And we're going to apply it to our hook. Pick it off. Oops. And apply it to the hook. Pick it off. And apply it to the hook. Pick it off. And see how I'm picking it off from either side and I'm kind of making that center pointed. And then doing our 
last one. Picking it off and putting it on the hook. There we go. And now taking our smoothing tool, we're just gonna fill up that central space. See what I'm doing there? Okay, there we go. And we're just gonna make sure that's all pushed down. I'm just tapping it lightly. Ooh. some blue on my mat anyway so there's one flower and then we will take a pinch of green just a pinch we're gonna roll it in a ball and we're gonna put it in the middle we're just gonna tap it down. We're gonna tap down the whole flower. There we go. Okay. Now, dang it, I don't like that. I like my flower. I don't like this blemish I got over there. But that's bound to happen if you've been working on clay all day. Okay, so now we're going to do another one just the same way, okay? So, taking some of this, do another one. See how cute it is? And then meet me back. And this is how mine ended. See, I got two really pretty flowers. Okay, and then I just left the back kind of plain because that's where my hand will go mostly. So, so any little touch-ups you want to do, again, like I said, I am not a professional clay person. So if you know how, if you want to leave in the comments how I could have done this better, feel free. But this is my little amateur crochet hook. Okay, so now I'm going to turn you over to my cheap toaster oven. Now, I read somewhere that, there you see it, that you should use a toaster oven to cure your clay. You're doing it at 260 to 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, for approximately 10 minutes and then check it and then do like five minutes, then check it, that kind of thing. Once you tap on it and it's hollow, that means that it's completely done. Okay. So as you'll see, I've already got a couple of hooks in there. So we'll add this to collection. All I've done is I've fashioned a little kind of tray with aluminum. Okay. And now I'm just going to cook these. So see, it's heating up. And I have it at in between 250 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. There's also Celsius there. So it's 120 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. And I have the timer set for 10 minutes. And I can already feel the heat coming out of there. So, there's my crochet hooks cooking away. I'm so excited. I will let you see how it ends up. So, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually smoking. So, that's probably why they say don't do it in your normal oven. Uh, so, I've got windows open and fans going. Yeah, so just, you know, be careful with that. But it doesn't look like, I mean, there's no light in there, but it doesn't look like they're being harmed. It's just, there's smoke. 
Can you see that smoke? Yeah, there's smoke. Okay, I still have a few minutes to go. So, and then we'll do our first check to see if they're completely cooked. Okay, so my buzzer just rang. And we're gonna check our crochet hooks. It's very hot. No, they're still sticky. So I'm gonna put them in. They're still quite sticky actually. So I'm gonna put them in for another five minutes, same temperature. So there we go. Okay, so yeah, so now we're at, this will be 15 minutes. And they did say it would vary um, depending on how thick you did the clay. Okay, so yeah, I still can't believe all the smoke. <laughs> okay, I'll be back and we'll check them again in five minutes. Okay, so we just binged again. So let's check our hook. Well, you know what? I don't know. Ooh, it's hot. What do you think, hey? Being in the oven and all. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get some of my, oh, my working pliers and I just hit the camera, sorry. So I'm going to use some of my jewelry making pliers. I'm going to pick these babies up. Ooh, don't do that. Okay, so they're kind of stuck. But I think I'm going to roll them. Okay. I'm gonna roll them and then I think I'm gonna give them five more minutes. Oh, there we go. Oopsies. They seem pretty. Oh, that one. Come on now. Oh. There we go. There. Okay, so everyone's been rolled. And I, I'm going to put them in just for a few more minutes. So that back side. Oh, geez, of course. Nothing can ever be easy, right? Oh, they cool off pretty quick, actually. Okay. I'm going to put them back in five more minutes. The reason we do this um, on such a low temperature, though, is so it doesn't crack. So that's, that's a good thing. So I rolled them all five more minutes. So this is 20 minutes now for my little oven. But every oven is different. So keep that in mind, okay? Now I'm gonna go look around my house and find something that I can prop these up in so after they cooled, I can paint them. So you might wanna do the same thing. Okay, so this should be our final time. Yeah, and those are looking good. Ouch, very hot, but yeah. They're looking good. Yeah, I'm liking them. So now we're just gonna let ow, them cool off and then we will paint them. So 
So, yeah. Okay, let me use my pliers. Look at that. See how nicely it turned out? Yeah, and that's, you can they still feel a teeny bit gummy, but hard. So I think once they cool off, it'll be whew, better. See, look at that. Aren't they nice? Okay. Oh, that's really bad. Anyway, let them cool off. And uh, I'll see you back when I'm painting. Okay, so we've got to the painting part. So I am using this acrylics polymer medium gloss varnish. It's ancient. I don't even know if you can buy it anymore. But uh, that's what I'm going to use to do these. If I can open it. Holy Hannah Banana. Okay, well, I got my husband to open it for me. He's so awesome. So now what we're going to do is see, I've got this neat little floral, uh, whatchamacallit. So I'm just going to take this. Now this goes on white. And it clears, it dries clear, okay? So I'm just going to paint the whole thing. Make sure you get the bottom. And if you have bubbles or streaks, try and take those out. Okay. And we're just going to paint that. Make sure you get all the way up to the top there. You want to seal all that in. Okay. And then. Now you might want to do a couple of coats. I use my crochet hooks a lot because of course this channel. And I, I it's also a relaxation thing for me, so. I, uh, if I'm feeling anxious or something, I start a new project. So yes, I have 10,000 projects started and sometimes I get ruthless and I just rip all the ones I'm never going to finish apart, which my loving husband practically cries over each time. And these did harden nicely when I took them out of the oven. I was saying they were a bit sticky, but not, they were hard, even though the outer side was sticky, but it, uh, it went away. So let's say you have a blemish. So on this one, I have, I don't know if you can see it, but I, I have this kind of weird coloration there. So before I would do this. I would get some yellow paint, which I'll be right back after I go get it. So here we go. It's just a little bit of acrylic paint. I'm going to just go in the lid, take a little bit, and just go over that. I'm going to have to do the whole crochet hook, but it's worth it. So I don't have that um, discoloration there. I really like my crochet hooks and I use them a lot and I want them to be nice. So if you can see here, I'm shaky today because I worked graveyards last night. I haven't had a lot of sleep. So I'm just going to do my best to go around. It's 
spread all that paint. Make sure you go right up to the top as close as you can to the flowers without touching. And that's it only if you've got a blemish. The other one had no blemishes. Okay. Make sure that gets all nice and covered up. There we go. Okay. So there we can. And you know, if you wanted to, you could just do a polymer clay base and then paint it, right? I do a little bit of painting, but not much and not this kind. There, I think that looks much better. And then we'll make sure, oh, Good thing I left. Let me get up here. I'm just going to take that off with my finger. Yeah. And I may have to do a couple of coats. Whatever. As long as it's pretty. I'm all about oh, the pretty. Okay. So I'll set that one to dry. And then I'll clean my paintbrush and do the others. Yeah, so that's what you do. That's all you have to do to finish them off. So I hope you like this video. This is the real end. I think some of the, I've done like two or three endings, but yeah, that's how you do it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.